the next UV tutorial video. Today we're going to go ahead and finish up the matching cards game. Um, so we left off at a pretty good spot. We could select a card and flip, but there was a problem with the fact that you can continue clicking cards while others are flipping. So to fix this, I'm going to go ahead and go into the playmat. And in here, we're going to add a new integer called number of cards flipped, which will start off at zero. We're going to use this integer to control um, our card when and um, use this to check to see if we actually have already flipped too many cards. So if it does not equal to, then we know that we can flip. And when we can flip, we're going to increment this number. Um, so back in playmat, when we um, get a match, we're going to uh, set our number to zero because those were not unflip. And for the ones that unflip, we want to wait for that animation to finish unflipping before we allow them to flip again. So in our star card flip uh, coroutine, we are already waiting right here for how long the flip is going to take. And we're checking to see if we're flipping, so we can just check to see if we're not flipping or unflipping and do, um, decrement this number. And so doing this will allow us to flip but not flip until it's finished. Okay. Um, so a little while ago we had this uh, layout on our uh, playmat. So I've gone ahead and created one more layout uh, called square. So we're going to add that. And in here, when we click play, Um, square. So now we can get a square map as well as uh, a skeleton. Um, so now we're going to expand our UI a little bit so we can actually do a level selection instead of just doing random. So to do this we're going to go ahead and use uh, collections.generic so we can have access to a list. Okay. And we're going to have another state now. It's going to be called level select. So let's go ahead and add this to our um, to our states. And this guy's going to have his own function. And then we're going to add this function call. So instead of just instantiating the playmat from here, we are now going to do something similar. So let's copy this over, put this in here. This is not going to do this, and instead is going to just change our state to level select. 
Um, in here, I'm going to change this to random. We're going to set this guy up at zero for the height. And then that's fine. And then we're going to do a for loop. And we're going to loop through our levels. And then for each level that we're looping through, we're going to do something similar. Except this is just going to call level sub i. And this is going to be 50 plus 50 times i. So that this will space it out correctly and it won't overlap this first one. Um, so if we save this, we can take a look and see what it looks like. Oh, wait. Uh, no? Okay. So quick play. We'll see that we have random. We didn't add any levels to this. So we can go ahead and say we have two levels. Uh, skeleton. and square. Okay, so if we click play, we can see that we have skeleton and square. Uh, so to make those buttons actually do something, we're going to have to go into the play mat and modify how we create our levels. So before, we're just doing this stuff, and the create layout will get a random layout which is not what we want this to do anymore. We want this to take a string and we also want to be able to call this. If s equals random then we're going to get a random layout. Otherwise we're going to say board equals layout equals layout dot get layout from name we're going to pass in s and we don't want to do this on start anymore so let's copy those two guys out and it'll be under here and then we're going to delete this uh, so we still want to do the mat equals this so that we can call uh, get uh, play mat in our UI. However, we're instantiating it so we can't call it right after. Uh, so to get around this, we're going to make a coroutine. I enumerator wait for play mat to load. This will take in a string level name. And all this guy's going to do is yield return new wait four seconds point five, and then playmat dot get playmat and then level name. And so after we instantiate our playmat. We're going to start our coroutine. Wait for playmat to load. Pass in the random. And then in here, we're going to pass in levels sub i. All right. Oh, 
Okay, so we click play, play game, we can click skeleton, skeleton loads, we can quit, we can click square, square loads. Um, so a long time ago we have this we had this board. And we're actually going to use a new board now. So let's go ahead and delete this guy. And in our assets, which you can get these from our website. I'm just going to drag these guys in. Okay. Um, so let's drag our board into the scene. This guy's real tiny, so we're going to have to bump him up to one. Click apply. Uh, we're going to rotate this guy uh, 90 on his subchild. 90 by 90. We're going to delete this other cube. And we're going to delete this guy. And then we're going to drag this texture onto him. And we throw our playmat into the scene. We're going to parent this guy to our playmat. We're going to make this guy scales up the scale a little bit bigger. Whoa. Uh, one by two by two. 1.5. All right, and we want to drag this guy a little bit so that we can see him easily. And we're going to click apply. Delete that guy from our scene. Click play game. Uh, so this guy's a little too high up. Negative one. And it's almost the right size. Negative one, negative two. Okay, let's try that again. Now you can click and play on a new board. And that's going to be it for this game. Thank you guys for watching.